Hello everyone, how are you? Hope all of you are doing well and keeping with your studies. Most welcome to my online video class. This is M.M. Azharul Islam, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Tongue Government College, Gajipur. So, dear students, I am talking for the students of honors third year uh, from, rest, from restriction and 18th century fiction. Uh, from this course title, I would like to discuss Robinson Crusoe <coughs> by Daniel Defoe. And today, my target is historical context in Robinson Crusoe, written by Daniel Defoe. So, dear students, follow me. Rise of the novel. Before the late 17th century, the idea of fiction as a literary jail did not exist. Books were sold as histories consisting of pamphlets, memories, and travel logs, political essays, historical accounts, and even romances and poetry. Fictional tales were considered lies, however in the 1670s fictional tales rose in popularity. Writers began distinguishing published histories from their own writings of private history. The first novel was published with the designation A uh, True Private History. In fact, Robinson Crusoe's tale is loosely based on shipwreck and marooning of Alexander Shellkirk, a sailor stranded for four years on the Pacific island of Moss uh, Tierra. Thus, the zero of the first novel is somewhere between fiction journalism and personal memoir. It therefore helped create a space for the modern novel and the zero of literary fiction. So dear students, follow me. Very important. British imperialism. England created overseas trading sports and uh, post and settlements from the late 16th century to the early 18th century. With their own vast fleet of ships, England was one of the premier trading, shipping and exploring nations in the world, expanding on their trading posts and uh, land holdings. The British began to conquer lands across the globe creating what would become the largest empire in history. At its height, the British Empire expanded 24% of the Earth's total landmass and ruled over 4 12 billion million people. The early 70s marks the beginning and rapid expansion of the imperialist mindset. Crusoe's thirst for travel, quest for money and disregard for the humanity of the natives he encounters serves as a snapshot of the British colonist. The unconscious cruelty Crusoe shows Friday and the idealized master-servant relationship between the two men serves as a prototype for the cultural imperialism that would come to subjugate native populations across the globe over the next two centuries. So dear students, very important political economy. <clears throat> At the beginning of the 18th century, the rigid social order in England began to change. The 18th century saw transitions between the mercantilism and capitalism. Mercantilism was the policy that guided nation states to monopolize areas and their natural resources in order to maximize the gold and silver holdings of the imperial state. In the 1770s, Adam Smith would theorize about capitalism, who is considered resource allocation through the decisions made by rational agents in markets. While Crusoe's dreams of land are largely mercantilized, many of his readers were already participating in the benefiting from the dynamics of capitalist 
restructuring of Britain's economy, which made it possible for the middle class to develop. A person was no longer trapped by the rank and class that they were born into. They could make their fortune in trade, exploration, or import. Opportunities in so-called New World also made it possible for land, landless citizens to become landowners. Crusoe's desire to pursue money and travel abroad comes from this desire to gain status and rise above his uh, station. So, this is all from today. Actually, I have discussed the political and social and historical context of Robinson Crusoe written by uh, Daniel Defoe and uh, I am talking for you now and that is on our third year. So this is all from today. Uh, I think all of you have been benefited by my lecture. So no more today. Bye. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Stay home. Stay safe. Allah. Assalamu alaikum.